Days after a grand jury decided an Oregon state trooper and a Clackamas County Sheriff's detective would not face charges for the fatal shooting of Derek Clark, his family held a vigil today and they asked for change. Joelle Jones joins us now with the details tonight. Earlier, friends, family, and community members gathered in the same spot Derek Clark was shot and killed to honor his life and demand justice. The Clark family tells us they were incredibly disappointed to learn neither of the officers involved would face any criminal charges. Now they say they are asking for policy changes as they hope no other family has to go through what they went through. The only thing that's going to change the policy and the legislation is for us to be out here in these streets. With signs, speeches, and flowers, today family and friends of Derek Clark gathered in Milwaukee to honor a life cut short. Off Southeast Avenue and Southeast Wood, the vigil was held near the spot Detective Daniel Ferguson and Trooper Zachary Cole shot and killed the 24-year-old following a high-speed chase on June 18th. Derek was my firstborn grandson. He was loved by his family, and he had so many friends that cared and loved him, and he was doing so many good things. He will be missed forever. The vigil comes just four days after the family received notice that a grand jury found the shooting justified, and just one day after Clark's family says they were allowed to view video footage of the incident. Uh, we were able to view the footage yesterday, and now finally after 176 days, we are able to see what exactly happened. And the public will see what happened next week, and the footage speaks for itself. Clark's aunt, Carrie Miles, says the family now wants change, calling, among other issues, the release of lethal force video footage to families of victims shot by law enforcement within one week of the incident, demanding officers involved not be allowed to view video evidence prior to providing official statements, the release of grand jury transcripts, and increased training. But an independent investigation conducted by the Oregon Department of Justice found Clark had a weapon on him and failed to comply with verbal commands to raise his hands as he fled the car. With Attorney General Ellen Rosenblum stating, This was obviously a tragic incident that everyone wishes had not happened. I want to thank Clackamas County Grand Jurors for their service, as well as the Oregon City and Lake Oswego Police Departments for their thorough investigation. The public will find that it was pretty outrageous what happened. But family suggests the video shows otherwise, arguing there is no excuse for shooting a man in the back. And Clark's family says although the grand jury decision means they will not get the accountability they were seeking, they tell us this fight is not over. We're not going away. Um, we're here to fight. That's what Derek would do for us. And that's yes. He was our family's protector and will be his protector now. Earlier today, I reached out to both the Oregon State Police and the Clackamas County Sheriff's Office for a response to the statements and concerns raised by Clark's family today, though we did not receive an immediate response back. However, earlier, both agencies in a joint statement acknowledged the impact lethal force has on everyone involved while thanking the community for their patience, as well as the grand jurors for their, quote, comprehensive review of the facts. Reporting in Portland, I'm Joelle Jones, Coin 6 News.